2004 Armbro Flight Championship Final, and the mares are off and trotting. Cameron Hall and Queen Connie leaving extremely hard on the outside. Snazzy Millie pushes on through into the top three. Lost Lady One settles out in fourth. That is Dresden Dolly looking for a five hole, but stroke play is going to drive on through. Then it's back to Windy Lane Hanover. She's second to last. Gypsy Balance completes this field. And Cameron Hall and Trevor Ritchie have outbursted the field into the first turn. Snazzy Millie drove through in second. The opening quarter was 26 and four. Cameron Hall, the leader by two, over to the backstretch. Racing up second, Snazzy Millie. Landing in third by pushing on through was lost Lady One, and Queen Connie had to back off into the four hole. Stroke play just off the speed from fifth. Pocket pulling, Snazzy Millie on the way to the half. Snazzy Millie at 48 to one is going to be the halfway point leader. Stroke play is back in fifth, and she is tipped out off the cones. Ahead of Dresden Dolly, Windy Lane Hanover lurking second to last fresh, and Gypsy Bell Balance trailed, but it's Snazzy Millie on top, 56 and 2. Took over from Cameron Hall. Here comes Lost Lady 1 to the outside third. They enter the final 3 eighths of the mile of the 2004 Armbro Flight Final, and Lost Lady 1 moves third to first onto the final turn. Snazzy Millie surrendered the lead. Stroke play edging up on the outside. She's been off the leader, still has trot. And on her back comes Dresden Dolly. Cameron Hall hard driven back in fifth. Windy Lane Hanover about seven lengths to make up. Then Queen Connie and Gypsy Balance trying to get away as Lost Lady won. 125, three quarter time. Rick Ziron trying to squeeze a Woodbine stretch from Lost Lady One. Stroke play is stalking. Windy Lane Hanover trying to make up the last five lengths. Here comes Sears with stroke play. Windy Lane Hanover on the outside, but stroke play is clear. Stroke play captures the 2004 Armbro Flight Invitational. Windy Lane Hanover second. Lost Lady One was third. Dresden Dolly fourth. 153 and four for stroke play. Oh, magnificently. They hung up some fractions for you. You were sitting from just off the pace, and I guess the rest was pretty uh, pretty automatic. Yeah, at the start of the race, um, you know, Luke was leaving out there. His horse was pretty aggressive, but um, I really wanted him to get in behind me, get a little separation from Wendy Lane. I was a little nervous with her being on my back, if that would have worked out that way. But, um, you know, when I come with her, she came strong and picked up picked up some cover there, mixing it up good enough, and, um, you know, she just responded like she has for the last few weeks and raced super. Excitement with this mare, uh, I'm sure, uh, major disappointment for Georgia Pacific. Uh, any indication as to what went wrong? Um, you know, uh, the four-hole tonight, um, we were stepping out of there, and he just wasn't... Um, wasn't real quick off the off the wings, and um, I thought they were going to mix it up pretty good, and um, you know I, I still I worked out the trip behind Pan Pacific Flight, but um, you know just come up a little short, but he did he still raced pretty good. Not the end of the world. He'll come back to fight another fight. Yeah, he will. All right, congratulations on this victory, all the same, Brian. Thank you. Okay, Brian Sears wins the Armbro Flight Stakes with the Great Trotting Mare Stroke Play, who won her fifth in a row.